is the third time. Yeah, so a couple of tricks here. So first one is you don't want to use uh, paint that's too thin because that will that, that will seep into the tape, right? Or uh, so if your tape is like a really fancy one, uh, w what it's going to do is uh, it's going to uh, float on top of it and then move around. And if it's cheap one like this, it's going to seep into it and then it's going to bleed into your uh, your paint job. So you don't want to use uh, paint that is very, very thin. Uh, you know, don't clog your airbrush because of that. It's not a good way to go either. But so the second thing uh, that you, that you want to be sure is that you don't uh, you don't touch really with your uh, your tape. You yeah. So you want to make sure your tape is in one place and that you don't touch it during whatever moment that uh, that, that you're airbrushing. Uh, that that will make sure that you're not like you know one millimeter off or you know like like you you, you see it like this is really cheap tape. So. You have to make sure it's not like moving around and that you're not like wiggling it because this this look this is the worst looking thing when like the the when you get like your your one line and it's like one millimeter off it looks really really weird and it's really really hard to to fix and then the last tr uh, the last trick is you uh you don't want to wait to pull out your mask as soon as you're done you remove it and this is kind of a little bit counterintuitive uh, of what you think but the reason is if you wait for the paint to dry then it might dry in between your mask and your surface and then once you pull it out it's going to kind of break and then it, it, it will rip uh, on one side or the other and then, then this can damage uh, what, what you just did so you want to remove it as soon as you are done so right now you know the airbrush is not even cleaned uh, and we're, we're working to remove our mask because we don't want to we don't want to damage what we just uh, masked off. And then lo and behold, this is pretty, uh, I mean, I, I like this. I don't know what you guys uh, think, but I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. We'll just touch up the little hinges to make them silver. And I think, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like this, uh, this, this thing.